I can use this to drive it because this is slightly later. And what typically would happen is you'd see this thing here just change depending on the data. So it would slowly just circulate and rotate in this way and you'd see Facebook's red and you can see the number of petals here tell you how much mm -hmm. data there is. So you get a very visual indication of and the in, whole thing. And in order to log in you just have to select the user. Um, this home page is me. This is about my personality. This is about me putting my favorite apps there. With this environment, you can customize your own applications to sit here. Now it could be more, and this could be smaller. Um, and we'll leave that horrible plug of lots of things onto a specific page. I'll come back to this in a second. So this basically becomes your custom area. So these are people um, I contact, people I work with often. Uh, Ivanka, who's just there. Kevin, who's here. What you'll also notice, each time I click on this, the last time they communicated with me. Remember I said about this complexity of communication? The last time we touched base is here. So with Kevin, it was a telephone. Um, here, I can also filter um, messages from these people. I keep saying email, but I mean messages. Could It could be a Twitter, it could be a tweet or something like that. Um, again, here, music, and here, videos that I use. And again, it could be games. There'll be another one with games. So this is my bit. This is my landing page, and I choose how this is going to look. On the apps page, I have my favorites here and I can drag them onto the shelf here and customize it. I have actually installed applications running this machine. And they have the marketplace for apps itself. Okay, so this is a simple example of ones that they recommend. I could click on this, go to the app store, and then I would get whatever apps by category I want. We get to those in a second. Um, videos, so again, what I've got, what could be recommended. Um, you know, I can go around here, The Hobbit, We've got an affiliate agreement with um, Amazon. I'm getting really bad at tapping at the moment. Yeah, so here you can see you can buy the thing, you can rent it, or whatever. I'm gonna... It's me. Edge swiping allows us to do a couple of things. It allows us to bring up things and put them away, and it allows us to create simplified gestures. So for example here, by a short swipe, I'm able to actually bring up a music application. Longer swipe, I get back to the apps page. Short swipe, I get to that music application again. Longer swipe, go back to the apps page. I could tap on that music hit there and get there. So at any point, I can very easily now, you can see how it's building up, very easily get back to this page here. It has my eight favorites, normally not all installed apps. The reason for that is, if you had a thousand apps, you'd, yeah, exactly. <laughs> no, you can customize it separately to this. So I can hold this down normally, and it would say, do you want to keep it or not? Bang, it goes. So now you can see I've got two tablet apps running here, and these, what look like telephone apps? So on the telephone, the experience is this. I swipe to change apps. So I've got, in this case, a number of apps running. I can go back here, launch more apps, or I can use the calculator. Halfway goes back there, as I indicated before. So the gestures for the phone and the tablet are basically the same gesture. If you want to actually do um, any modification, in this case we'd want to do some editing, I scroll up from here. Okay, so you can see I can edge swipe now here and rotate, crop, whatever. So it to uh, be of your menu button. Exactly, exactly. So, and I'll, I'll do that with this one here, um, slightly bigger. Again, same app, uh, and you can see from the app, basically, it's slightly different layouts. Let's go back here. This app will deploy on both platforms, and it'll, it won't just double up. It, it could even, you could even put extra buttons on there or whatever. It knows it's a tablet app, so it'll reinstantiate itself. And the code base underneath is the, is the same. Let's take that app there, so I can scroll now from one to the other. Um, again, just pull that up, and I can edit. Um, do the same thing here. Pull that up, edit. So you see, everything basically is common and the same. Got my application running. I'm going to risk this again. So I've got the calculator up there now. Uh, and I'll open a phone app. Okay. So now you see this side stage, we call it. I can carry on using this. We limit how far this goes over because it is basically a phone app. Mm -hmm. Now, 
If that annoys me, I hold down and move it away. If I want to bring it back, I switch. There, were, there was more than one, so I switch again. Switch again. So just the same gesturing that I'm doing here. Side. So we're building, if you like, this common theme of gesturing. Hold that down, take it away. 